All right, so we're at another deck project we're starting this week here. Um, this is going to be kind of a unique deck project because it's going to be all composite everything. Um, they don't want any wood showing basically, so we're going to make it basically maintenance free for the whole thing. So as you can see up here, uh, they got these interesting kind of wind baffles. So what happened, we're out, in, we're out in the country, so there's no real big wind breaks and trees. So what they needed was they needed something to block the wind. So we're going to create a custom wall for them to be able to block that wind. And then the other thing we're going to be changing out here is these uh, posts here and this staircase. So if you look at it, the whole thing's a little bit, got a little wobble to it. So um, what we're going to do is what we do on all stairs is we're going to widen them a little bit. And then we're actually going to put four stringers in there instead of just two. And that should stiffen them up. And then we're also going to add a, an intermittent landing. So there'll be a landing about halfway down. That will be able to go back and, back and over. So that landing is really going to hold it steady too as well. So yeah, this one's going to be, this one's going to be a fun one. All right, so we are out here at our countryside deck project. Um, the guys started demoing some stuff, so I'll take you back there and show you what's going on. Pretty much anything in construction, you're always going to run into some sort of issue. So the issue we ran into out here is at these big posts that you can see here on the inside and the outside here, um, they bow. So one side bows like this and the other side bows like that and we were worried about when you're taking so cedar what was on there before or redwood what was on there before is about two times lighter than composite so when we take that cedar off there and we put the composite on there we're nearly doubling the weight including our side walls that we're going to be putting on up as wind breaks so we did not feel comfortable just sticking it back on there the way it was um, and not being able to square up what we have up there. In order to do that, what we're going to do is we, we cut out the concrete patio here, and we're going to be planting a new post right in the center here. And so what that's going to do is that's going to stiffen everything up for when we add it on. The deck joists, as they are right now, aren't overspanned. Um, but with how these are bowed and kind of out of level, and then the roof load on top of it, we figured this is going to be the best way <coughs> to really brace this up yeah it's a it's a gutted shell right now but once we put it back it's gonna be it's gonna be super pretty hopefully the rain quits and we can keep uh keep on it all right so we're out here at the countryside deck project the guys killed it yesterday and got all the decking laid and then we ended up having to replace a lot of these and stiffen up these as well. Kind of reconfigure things and brace things up to make sure it would be able to take the weight of this new composite. And then we're, we're using hidden fasteners on this timber tech, obviously, because you can't see any fasteners. It makes a really, really pretty clean look. And um, if you ever do need to take them out, you can stick a drill bit in between and unscrew the boards that way but it just gives it a really clean, nice look. So we added this post like we talked about with a new big footing. And then up in the middle here, we added a bunch of these stiffeners to really prevent it from racking back and forth. And then this board on the outside here is actually for our, our uh, picture frame that goes around the outside. So we can have something to screw in on both sides and it's not gonna tip back and forth. So it may look kind of funky under here, but this is actually what's helping support all the deck boards all the way around. All right, so we are out at our countryside deck project. We are getting 
super close to wrapped up. You guys have been killing it on all the little details out here. So, if you look at the stairs, literally everything is wrapped with composite out here. So, homeowners did not want any maintenance on their deck, so we literally put everything on here as composite and or powder coated aluminum. So, no refinishing should be needed on this deck for a long, long time. So, we'll take you upstairs a little bit. Obviously, these are way better than the stairs that were before. How wobbly they were, these literally do not move. So up here, we're going to be doing that windbreak that we talked about before. So this is a completely custom thing that we've never done before. So we're having to get a little creative to make this windbreak happen and not be flexible and or fall off. So we're using six by six posts that were already there and those are getting wrapped with composite. Four by four posts that are going down into the framing, those get wrapped with composite. And then the new composite windbreak goes on the outside of that. So it's just all composite is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, once those get wrapped up, these posts coming down the stairs will get lights. And then the deck rise, the stair risers are get lights too, so this thing will look really awesome at night also. So yeah, can't wait to get this one wrapped up. I'm trying to get it done before Husker game day this Saturday. All right, so we're back out the countryside deck here. So this windbreak obviously is a little different than pretty much everything we've ever done. Um, so these are wrapped posts inside of here that are secured up top and bottom. And then we have our decking fascia material that's all out of composite for this windbreak here. Definitely a new change of product that we've never used for this type of thing before. So we had to modify it a bit to make sure it would fit and work the best it could. But it's definitely strong now and it's not going anywhere. Um, and also, it's completely maintenance free for the homeowners. All right, we are out here at our countryside deck project. It is all wrapped up finally. Had some delays with the electrical and stuff, making sure that that was right. Uh, and constant rain was a big battle out here. But we got her done here, so super cool details on this one. So if you see these little guys here, these are actually little LED lights that are routed through the posts and everything, and those are set on a dimmer and a timer. So as soon as the sun goes down, uh, those all kick on. We got these cool timber tech lights here too to light the pathway of the stairs. Um, and again, everything is wrapped in composite. Um, any, basically anything that you see is wrapped. So the posts are wrapped, sides are wrapped, so you don't really see any wood on this thing. Again, these stairs are about a hundred times stronger than they were before. And then we're up here. And again, you have a great view out here, but with that great view comes great wind. So. Uh, the biggest thing that we did here is we added these wind breaks. Um, this was a completely new and brand new idea that we have literally never tried. Um, but the owners wanted something to be able to block the wind and not have to maintain it because they had wood on there before and it just started to warp and kind of crack and fall apart. So kind of devised this plan. We had originally gone, we were going to go a little wider. We had to add these posts to make sure that this was strong enough. and. Uh, so yeah, it just, it really makes you feel, it feel private and it just focuses your view out there to the great um, view that they got here of the Midwest. 